Understanding Kill the Point, an English Learning Guide. Hello everyone, welcome to our English Language Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase, kill the point. This might sound a bit unusual, but it's a great example of how colorful and varied the English language can be. Let's dive in and understand what this phrase means and how you can use it in your conversations. In this section, we'll uncover what kill the point actually means. This phrase is not a common one and might not be found in traditional textbooks. It generally suggests diminishing the importance or effectiveness of an argument or statement. Imagine you're making a strong point, and someone says something that makes your argument seem less important or valid. They've essentially killed the point you were trying to make. Now, let's see how to use kill the point in real life conversations. It's a phrase best used in informal settings. Here are a few examples. Example 1. After presenting a well-thought argument about climate change, John's trivial joke about the weather killed the point of the whole discussion. Example 2. Sarah was trying to explain her financial struggles, but her brother's comment about her recent shopping spree killed the point she was making. Be cautious about the context in which you use this phrase. It's not suitable for formal situations and can sometimes come off as dismissive or rude. Also, don't confuse it with more common phrases like missing the point or beside the point. Kill the point is an interesting phrase that adds color to our language. Remember, it's all about the context and tone. We hope this video has been enlightening and adds a new phrase to your English vocabulary arsenal. Thanks for watching, and keep practicing your English!